Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master run on this week's ordeal, which is Insight Terminus. I'm doing it on the Hunter. I'm doing it on Night Stalker, top tree uh, Night Stalker. I'm using the Succession, which is prim my primary sniper for barriers. I'm using the Palindrome for Unstoppables and the Lament. I'm coupling the Lament, obviously, with Passive Guard and Lucent Blade, which is on the chest plate. I've got Sword and Sniper Ammo Finder and Scavenger. I'm also using the seasonal mods, the elemental will charges and the mods. So when I produce an elemental will, that mod you just seen will give me times two chargeable light, which obviously is for Lucent Blade. I've also got a couple of others. If I get grenade kills, I will produce an orb. Getting takedowns, weapon takedowns, which is what this is, elemental armaments. Well, uh, weapon takedowns with the same subclass I'm using have an elevated chance or an increased chance of dropping a well. And Font of Might is when I pick them up, I'll do more damage with that with that weapon, which all goes with the palindrome, which is most of you guys will know, is the weapon that's dropping from the nightfall. So I figured if I'm going to be farming for this weapon, I might as well use it in one of the videos. So I already done a run on the Warlock. And there were a couple of things I wasn't ha I weren't I, I could have done better, so I decided to do another run on the hunter. Now the hunter doesn't have the benefit of the grenades or the big super, so I have to rely on weapons and strategy. Now there are a couple of kind of I would say I've got to play a little bit more aggressive on the hunter because most of the DPS against the bigger enemies I'm going to be doing with the sword. The sniper is actually going to come in handy here, and obviously I don't have Nova for. Uh, I don't have the Nova for the boss, or the, the the constant grenades for the boss, but as you'll see, it didn't really matter. So, I, I I actually done a few of these on the Hunter, and this, I said in my last video, if you guys could let me know if this champion teleported, he does, every time. But as you can see, not a problem. Took him out pretty quickly. We also, obviously, the Lament, the, the Palindrome, sorry, is is void so i can take down the shields pretty quickly my palindrome has high impact reserves and outlaw so the last three shots of the magazine are going to be considerably higher than the the, the other ones and you, you'll probably see them come into play also without outlaw it's a really slow reload so i've i'm, I'm also using uh the exotic helmet on the hunter that gives you back health when you dodge uh which is completely gone for me worm hush crown yeah <laughs> thought it was gone so did i but it came back uh one husk crown I, my mobility is pretty high so i'm getting my dodge back pretty quickly so i never bother going with the double dodge i prefer to go invisible and have health when i'm going invisible rather than just constantly being invisible so again you've got two champions here uh i i, I was saying in my last video that i kind of had an issue with uh with the lament it's charge it happened a couple of times here but i think a few people pointed out some stuff in the last video that i knew obviously because i, I used the lament but I, I just was like oh yeah like this one this champion is slightly raised now i, I didn't have really in my last video i didn't have a problem taking that champion out but i did i did notice in pre when i was doing the commentary that it always seemed to be like my character would go in the air when I was using the Lament, which made me get, you know, trying to get that big hit, the charged hit, kind of was a little bit more difficult. And that is why it is. If you're not on the same level as the champion, constantly as you're doing the light attacks, you'll, you you might have noticed it before with the sword where you went after an enemy that's slightly in the air. Uh, and your sword will track them in the air. If there's an enemy that's slightly above your 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 level, even even if it's just half a foot in real time, you, you will, your sword will take you up to their level, meaning that you won't be able to do that big attack. You won't be able to get the 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 attacks kind of strung together. So you can see this uh, this barrier champion looked like he was nodding his head to some sort of hip hip hop song. Just when 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 you as you see there, I've got my dodge reload. Make sure you... It's really important. Especially when you're using a sniper on barriers. Make sure you're getting those crit hits. So the barriers out the way. We do have a lot of uh, cabal over the other side. If it becomes too much of a chore to try and take them out, I always like to take some of the snipers at least. Then, as I say, take some of the snipers. Minimise what you're going to be facing when you go over there. And we've got 
we've got full amp sword reserves and because we've got passive guard now i said this in my last video i am going to reiterate it in this video because we've got passive guard uh we can be more aggressive but remember passive guard does all of its good work when you're up close to the enemies now up close if it goes the same way i haven't tested what 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 the actual up close scenario is uh but if it goes the same as say when you put down a rift and you, you know and you've got uh got the mod on where you get more super energy when you pop down a rift being close to enemies and it's about five meters it, it's it's quite it's it's not right next to them passive guard does all of its work there so you can be more aggressive with passive guard you know so you the, it's kind of strange to say this but you're safest when you're closest unless it's an exploding enemy and then like a screeb uh so that's that section there I, I, as i say i took the barrier i took some snipers and then i pushed over with the sword M keeping an eye on my sword ammo reserves I, I did see some void stuff there so I, I wasn't sure if it was an elemental will you see i am got double charged with light and that's because i picked up an elemental will now what i'm going to do here is i waited to see the ad spawn then i fired my my my, my will now, I said this in the Warlock video that what I could have done was not fought all the unstoppables. That's exactly what I'm doing here. So what I'm trying to do is get rid of the dogs. And now I'm dodging. Just so I can move position and still be okay. So you can see there, what I've done was I stopped on overload. Now, you'll see there I put the block up. The overload has that kind of burn attack. Now, what, what, what it does is if he hits you with the burn attack it burns you and then it kind of explodes and that's what takes all your health off you so i just put the sword block up just in case he had attached a little cheeky bugger had attached something to me that was going to explode when i ran away and put me almost at death's door so that's that's how i've done that we only fought two waves of ads we still are going to finish this we finished this in under half an hour it's 29 minutes or something with 200,000. so score's not going to be an issue uh Right, so we're in this big open section. As soon as we get here, I've got my dodge, I've got invisibility. I normally go looking for the champion first. There's the champion, so I've dodged. So I can get up close to him, block. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now, because I've got so much heavy, I can kind of, as I say, we're safest when we're, when we're around all the enemies. So I used the sword just to have a look to see where all the enemies were. Threw a grenade to do as much damage as it can. Get a couple of kills, but at least take the health off some of them. Now they push me, and they're dead. Now, on the Lucent Blade, normally I put Lucent Blade onto my gauntlets, because I've got a really good set of gauntlets. But this time, I put them on my chest plate, because to get, to get the second perk where basically... On Lucent Blade, the second perk allows you to use your heavy attack more often. You need to have another Arc mod slotted. So because I used Arc Resistance, it made sense to put it on the chest. Because I didn't have to put a mod on that I wasn't going to use. So the Cabal, because they all do Arc, there's more of them. They're more of the problem than anything else. You see here, I'm going straight back after that champion. There he goes. Now, now I've just got... An absolute mountain of Cabal to deal with. But, I have no champions. So, as you can see, I'm just I'm just trying to clear an area. You see, I've got hit there. But I've got my invis. I've got my dodge. Get my health back. And now I can start clearing up ads. We're trying to stay as mobile as possible. If you're a moving target, you're a hard target to hit. And I'm... I, no, I didn't get lost there. What I was trying to do was... Uh, find a place where I could go where I didn't, where I could generate, regenerate my dodge like that without any ads hitting me. And I'm just trying to stay mobile. Just moving around. I'm trying not to stay in the mid. The ads will, as you can see quite quite clearly, the ads will chase you. If you charge your lament shot, and again, most people will know this. If you charge your lament shot, you will get health back on kills. And if you've got sword ammo reserves you will drop heavy from sword kills. I did try to get some some uh, sniper kills in there as well, just just to switch it up because I have noticed that if you use other weapons, you stand more of a chance of dropping heavy, as you can see up top. So we've got a couple of these gladiators. 
and just take one out. We know that there's another one up there. Now, because the sniper was doing such good work, I decided to take this barrier from here. And you can see... It really, really, really melts the barriers. What, again, as I said in the Warlock video, you want to use a couple of shots. You always want to keep one shot in reserve so you can break the shield. You don't want to be firing all your shots. Bang, 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 bang. And then and then the, the, the champion puts up his shield and you're kind of having to reload. And by the time you've reloaded, he's got full health. So always keep a shot in reserve. So picked up heavy. I knew I had heavy there. So again, right into the mid, as I'd done for the first wave. Get into this mid. Now, I was a bit late getting here, but... It actually served me okay. I've dodged. And I've decided just to bug out because all the champions are there. So the first wave you can do that. Second wave you can't. So there's the barrier. We're just going to block. And that's one barrier out. Now, it was risky. I've got my dodge. So when I dodge, I will get health back. It's, 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 it's not as bad as it looked. And just take some of these smaller guys out that are kind of pushing us. Palindrome actually was okay in here. Uh, High-end high content, maybe not so good. But it, it actually it wasn't too bad. It, it, it hits harder than, obviously, I was using the 7th Seraph last time to produce War Mine Cells. I kind of fine with the War Mine Cells. I used to, you know, I used to use them quite a bit. Missed a couple of sniper shots there because... I'm focusing too much on the incoming fire. There's a lot of these guys down here. So I'll just come down here and take them out. And there we go. Now the two champions, I know exactly where they are. They always go to the same place. They're at the bottom. Uh, I've been stuck with a grenade. So that's why even though I dodged and got my health back, I still... So I'll charge the lament. And that gives me some health back on the kills. We'll just have a look here to see what's lying about. Take that sniper out. The, the ads always... Go, the, the two champions always go down to the bottom. You can see there. I'm now... You know, they, they know... If they get a look at you, if the barrier gets a look at you, it's worthwhile trying to change location. I have got my super should I need it. I don't really want to use it, but if I have to, I will. And what that does is it just makes it a little bit easier to take out... The barrier. The barrier is normally the one you want to take out. And as you can see, the barrier is dead. Dead and gone. Now we're going to take this unstoppable. Charge. Now, once you take the unstoppable, you'll drop this orb. Once you drop this orb, you're going to get more ads. You see? I would, I would just... Don't go past the middle section. Because if you do, if you go past the mid... You're going to get another champion as well as these ads. So stay at the bottom section when you're taking these ads. And you can see here, it's not too difficult to clean them up from this bottom corner. There's, there's quite a few of them, so dodge, go and viz. And then we'll just come down and attack some of them. I think I've got heavy ammo. I thought I had heavy ammo uh, lying about as well, so I wasn't, I wasn't too... I'm, I wasn't too worried about expelling some heavy. Now, when you pick this uh, orb up, once you go past this center circle, you're going to get a champion. So we'll just take him out immediately. And we don't have to worry about that champion. Now you've got two barriers. So we're going to take these two cabal here. Now I have got special line about, so I wasn't too worried. My... Uh, my sniper has got lead from gold on as well. It's got Vorpal and lead with gold. So every time I pick up heavy, I will pick up special as well. Which is invaluable for an anti-barrier sniper. Again, I kept that final shot to break the shield. And there's one barrier. Now, the other barrier, I think the other barrier sneaks up on me here because I didn't actually see him creep up there. When I was shooting the Tukabal, he wasn't there. So we'll just... I looked too far, too far to the side. So we're just going to, as I say, break his shield. Dodge. Now we can attack him, get a better angle here. And there we go. 
So we're just going to do a little scoot, just try and pick up some special. See heavy ammo just there. I knew I had bricks lying about. Uh, I didn't know how much, but I know I've got another brick over the side. So we are going to finish this with full heavy and special, which is perfect going towards the boss. Now I said, I've said this in previous videos, you should be aiming, you should be aiming for how long it takes you to complete the whole thing up to the boss is roughly how long it's going to take you to beat the boss. And that kind of was very close to being perfect for this. I'm not going to fight these ads coming up here. There's just, there's no need. I've got 163,000. It's only, we're only 14 minutes in. We're already three or four minutes, maybe even five minutes faster than we were on the Warlock run. And the boss is going to be faster again. As I say, I think and my wallet run was like 30, just not a kick in the backside off of 37 minutes. And this is like 29 and a half, so it's about 8 minutes faster. And considering the wallet run, I felt was really, really, at the boss, I had a problem with capturing the plates, which I don't think I had as much of a problem here doing it because I took my own advice from the wallet video. Bearing in mind when I'd done the wallet radio, video that's the first time i ran the insight terminus since jeez i i i remembered exact i remembered the strike but there's the, the little nuances that i'd forgot like how i used to capture plates and stuff because if you just go in and just i'm just gonna kill everything i'm just gonna run from here to there you know i've got I've, i know i'm gonna have these ads i know i'm gonna have those ads you could end up getting yourself in a situation where you become overawed with the amount of ads that are out. And that's, I think that's what happened on my Warlock run. So the boss is out and you're going to have to capture this first plate. Uh, the boss is going away, sorry, and you've got to capture this first plate. You're going to have a couple of Cabal, a couple of dogs come out, right? So I, I always try and take at least one of the Cabal. I was lucky here, I got both of them. And then I'm just going to fire my tether. Now, if I'm lucky, you see I put that grenade down. I should stop all the dogs where, I, where I've put it. Now, if I'm lucky and can keep this tether going, it will also tether the boss. So I get my charge with light. And I just keep hitting them. Now, my suggestion for this, we are going to be playing really aggressive because we're, sword's going to be one main DPS, sword and sniper. While there are a ton of ads out front, don't stand there trading blows with the boss. It's just not not worth it. Right? So while there's while there's a ton of ads out the front, come back here, do some work if you can. Now I'm hitting him for about twenty thousand there with 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 a crit from the sniper. Just checking for those uh void trails. Now I'm gonna just come out and see what's about. So I'm going to dodge, go and viz. There isn't many ads out here. And then charge. And just wait for him to do... What I waited for there was I waited for him to do his big slam attack. Uh, I can see I've got heavy. I've seen heavy in a few places. So I waited till he'd done his big slam attack before... Uh, before I done my big attack, because I knew the lament would save me, uh, because of the getting heavy back, it wouldn't have flung me away too far because I can I can come back using the sword. So again, get another another cheeky shot. Now. Yeah, it's 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 just slow going here. You'd be surprised at how fast it ended up at the end, but it's pretty slow going here. So what I decided, it's a little bit too slow going for my liking. So I decided to push, and I went straight through the ads as well. And as you can see, no, I'm at the plates. I'll just take some of these ads out before I get on the plate. Now again, I, I was I was really wary about keep going on and off plates. It did happen a couple of times, but I was really wary of it. So I know I'm going to get these these gladiators. Dodge, go and viz. 
and what I'm actually waiting for. I'm trying to draw them between plates. There was a couple of times I tried to stand my ground here and it just doesn't, doesn't work. I was looking for super. Now, the other thing is I was trying to not have to take plates when there was so many of these gladiators out. So I'm trying now to take the gladiators before I try and capture the plate. There's another one coming in. Now I feel like all the gladiators have been taken. So I'm going to dodge, clear out these ads here. Just give myself a clear. I've almost got my super, which I know that when I get my super, that, I sh that should help me be able to capture a plate. But I'm actually wanting these ads to kind of push me. I've got my super. And I reckon I'll be able to capture this plate now. And as you can see, grabbed, up, grabbed them all. And then just tried to try uh, what I tried to do, what I should have done. What I should have done there, you see, I've kind of wasted it. Uh, I should have actually killed the ads that the tailor grabbed. I thought I'd be able to use that to be able to get uh, to be able to get one of the other plates captured. I've dodged, went and viz, taking a lot of heat from the center. Now, again, as I said before in my wall-up video, I'm trying not to capture plates when, when the the gladiators are out, but I ended up becoming kind of overawed with ads at times. I really do feel like this is different from the way it used to be. Now, I'm kind of worried about the, the ammo situation, taking too much heat. And another thing I noticed, and you might see it as you're watching the video, I know I've got heavy ammo over here, so I'm, I'm kind of going looking to see if I can... I want to generate heavy where I don't have to go out and really, really be, you know, a dangerous position. But I'm finding, and again, it's just it's just little differences that I'm noticing. The plates, it's really stupid, it's, really, it's quite a small kind of thing. The plates seem to be deeper because I can't run off the plates now. I get caught when I'm inside them. So you see I drop down, I don't remember it being like that before. So I'm just taking some of those guys. I've got a void weapon. So break the shield. He kind of snuck up on me there. Dodge. I'm really, really pushing it here. Want to capture this plate. I don't want to have to come off it, but I did. Because there are too many ads. It's just a really stupid... I, I really think this is kind of a stupid way to do this. Especially from a solo, and I know some people are going to be like, well, you shouldn't be soloing this. Yeah, I know, I, I, and the reason why I say it is, most people that comment on the video don't, aren't, aren't that guy. But you'd be surprised how many comments I get on other part, other things that are, well, why are you trying to solo it? There's no need to solo anything in this game. Nobody wants a challenge, we just want everything easy. Sorry, I added that last bit, and they don't really say that, that's my internal thought process. Yeah, I have had people say that. Nobody should need to ever solo anything in this game. Uh, but they are the type of people that put LFG posts saying, uh, have 20 runs before you come in to do this. Because I'm, I'm a sweat and don't like to try anything. Anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. So, again, as you can see, I'm just trying to just get into a situation here where it's, I don't have many enemies up. And I've got specific enemies up. I'm just looking. Almost got my super. And I actually managed. There's one of these plates that I remember. I, I, I managed to capture really easily. So just charge. Nearly got my super. And obviously I can use the lament to take down some of these easier enemies. I've got my super. And we'll just put that there. And this time, I will use my sniper to kill some of these guys to share that damage. You see, sharing that damage is massive. And just, as I say, try and clear as many of the enemies that are there as possible. And that's a plate captured. Now, we just got this plate over here. We've got... 
visibility and we're just going to... Once we get the plates captured, I don't think this boss took me as as, as much, as long to to beat as, uh, as the Warlock one did. You see, uh, just being chased by too many of these gladiators. So now I'm trying to entice them up here into cover so I can just take them. It's a great thing to do it and... And another thing that I should I should mention, I don't know if I did in my warlock. When you're doing this, I got more heavy there. Nice. When you are doing this, uh, when you've captured the plates, any ads, any of these, because the, the the dogs and the gladiators, any dogs and any gladiators that are still alive once you've captured all the plates, they were they are the only enemies that will chase you down into the safe area when the boss comes out. So when the boss is out, the ads that will be... The ads that are out, like, no. These ads. They won't push to where your safe zone is. Which is at the back. They won't push there. It's the dogs... You see, we're probably going to get this capture here. It's the dogs and the gladiators that will push you there. Dodge. We should be all good now. There we go. And I'll just take some of these because we're going to go over to the safe zone. So any dogs and any gladiators that, that were still out when you took that plate will push you here. All the other ads will just congregate in the center. So I'm just waiting to see. I can see now there's another, glad, another gladiator. And there we go. Now we're in the final phase. All we need to do now from this position is kill the boss. Now we will get a whole bunch of enemies. You see now I'm just going to take a chance, get the dodge. Can't run off the plate. It's it's ridiculous as well that that's a thing. That the plate is just so deep that you, you just run up against the edge of it. But it's little changes like that that a lot of people might not have noticed. You know? So what we're doing is... There's a lot of enemies out there. We're going to try and get a tether. When we get the tether, we'll just keep... You know, I don't want to go out and attack with the sword uh, as long as there's that that amount of enemies there. You know, as long as there's that amount of enemies. But I don't mind going out. If I've tethered them, I'll go out because we'll share that damage and clear everybody, which will put the damage back on the boss. Almost got it. And I'm, I think, actually, if I'm being honest, the way I actually beat the boss is with the sniper. I don't think I actually kill him with the sword. So we, we'll just put a tether down there. Get the dodge. Jump over the plate this time. Charge. And then hopefully share all this damage. And kill a heap of the enemies as well. Get a dodge if we need it. Yep. Go and get some ammo. And we're good for heavy, good for special. Back to the spot. And now we're just going to try and put some stuff on his head. There are still enemies out there, but you can see we've got 200,000. Not really too bothered about constantly killing enemies. We want to get as many kind of hits on the boss as possible. But if I can clear some of these kind of grenade throwing uh, annoyances, then all is good. See if we can break a shield. I've got my grenade, so I can always toss the grenade out. I think, yeah, I think that's the one. Because I remember thinking that was a great grenade. I must have just thrown it just a little bit too far. And we'll just try and put some, some shots on the boss. Try and whittle him down a little bit. And as I say... I can see bricks are hit special. We're not in any danger. There's no, there's no trouble here. I need to see where, what the boss is at. It's not got much health left. I know I've got special up, up to the, up to the right of me. There it is. I can just see it just to the right there. So I'll go and grab this brick. See how many it gives me. Quite a bit. 14. So we just need to try and find out where the boss is.
And then just put a couple of snipes on his head and, 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 and he should be good. There he is. A couple more. I think this is where he dies, to be fair. And as you can see, this is the safe zone. You don't have to keep pushing out. You don't have to get yourself in any kind of trouble. Even even the, 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 the hunter's grenade does good work, even on the top tree, which isn't the greatest... Uh, which isn't the greatest of the the hunter grenades. Obviously, bottom tree lasts longer uh, for the vo for the void. So I'm just gonna peek out here and see if I can get the last couple of snipes. And there we go. Two hundred and eight thousand. But the timer will keep going. You see, you still can't run off that plate. And this time I didn't get a palindrome. I'd already done it. I'd already done the hundred k on this and done the master nightfall, which is. I got a I, I got a palindrome there, so it is about a 70, 80 percent drop rate uh, for the master nightfall. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope this maybe gives you some new ideas on how to beat this. As I say, uh, just anybody that thinks that lament isn't a good sword or isn't worth using, you really should think again. Put that passive guard on, put that lucent blade on, get yourself charged with light, and see what it does. Thank you very much for watching, guys. The support you guys have been showing me over the past couple of weeks is amazing. There's plenty more to come from this channel, so stay tuned. I'm trying to get as many videos out a week on interest and stuff as I can. Uh, good luck with your Lament runs this weekend. Uh, let me know what roles you get if you do get them. And again, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.